not telling him. Because I heard the last guy I told him was bagging groceries. This turned out to be a late night, and I'm not getting it like that. I called him, you got to talk to him. All right, let's shoot for it. Let's do odds yeah, even. One, two, two three. three. Oh. Yeah, close to getting laid. So, whatever you got going on around here, better be good. Survey didn't say anything about a rock bed. Well, there's that, and there's this. Come with me. You're not gonna believe this. Tell me about it. How's a flame just floating in the air like that? Anybody else know about this? Just you. Dig site number three, and we found something during the drill. What? Artifact. Indian stuff, I think. Blow through it. Sir? You have enough glass? Uh, yes, sir, but we, we're not even supposed to be out here. You take this to the city council, and they will choke us to death on red tape. And that is not a metaphor. I understand, but what if it's important? I don't think the world is going to miss a couple of pieces of poorly made pottery. My kid brings home better stuff from her art class, and she's nine years old. A lot of demo, and I don't think we're cleared for this kind of a blast. In my experience, Mr. Simmons, once the oil begins to flow, we are clear to do whatever the hell we want. Yes, sir. Don't ever call me this late again. Are you sure you got enough to clear this thing out? This much C4? It'll be like it never existed. All right. No way somebody doesn't hear that blast, though. Locals are going to throw a fit. Yeah, well, the locals ain't paying you triple time to get this rig pumping. Fair enough. Charge is laid. Fuse is right. Five seconds to blast. Fire in the hole!
Matthew, you need to stay at the corner. You know, you do this job long enough, you start to figure you've seen it all. Anything on that relic? Uh, Branson thinks it might be Native American. That's probably pretty obvious. What are we looking at? A lot of pieces out there that just don't fit together. It's a damn mess. How many did? Six, eight, ten. I don't know. You don't know? Like I said, it's a damn mess. Got a murder weapon. And that's that's too big to be a dog, wolf, or coyote. You think a coyote could do that? There's no coyotes in Louisiana. I don't know. Maybe you pack up and went left, and they should have gone right. Ended up down here. Pissed off, freaked out. I don't know, maybe then it wouldn't take much to send him into a frenzy. Yeah, maybe. Or it could have been a bear. Poor Stark. He should be down here. Get a 20 on him. I'll take care of Stark. It's not good faith. Just because you use the words good faith, stonewalling is stonewalling. Person only stonewalls in a negotiation. We're not negotiating, we're refusing. You can't just refuse. It's un American. You realize that you just said that to me without a hint of irony? I'm backing up the money truck. I am bending over backwards. What is there to complain about? Well, for starters, your methods are an environmental hazard. Oh, give me a break. We're drilling for oil. That's like complaining that harpoons are anti-whale. My attorney arrived. Mr. Stark. I'm sorry I'm late. Bad weather coming out of LaGuardia. They didn't tell me about this. Sir? It's a wild card. Could go either way. The guy on the other side wants to screw you. Maybe he compromises to get in your good graces. On the other hand, maybe he holds the line to show you what a man he is. I don't think the way I look should affect my job performance. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Look, Ms. Bennett, Maria Bennett. I'm gonna give you that one for free. But if you say something that stupid again, I'll make sure you're chasing ambulances for the rest of your life. The biggest client your firm has is a chain of grocery stores. You don't think it's strange? Monsanto, Amons, and Breed, winkin', blinkin', and nod, suddenly turned up on my radar. I did, until I read your case file. So you understand why I requested a junior associate as point on the biggest case your firm is ever likely to see. You're hoping that because I grew up in this town, I can exert influence on your behalf. Our behalf, Ms. Bennett. Can you? Yes. And will you? Knowing you may have to screw over people that you call your friends. If keeping friends were my highest priority, I wouldn't have left this town three years ago. I don't understand why you didn't call me. It was all last minute, Dad. I was swamped. He says I'm only here for a couple days to work. For that guy? That guy is a huge opportunity. This is how careers are made. What? Well, that just doesn't sound like the daughter that I raised. I'm a lawyer, Dad, not a social worker. You taught me to be professional. You taught me that success comes from focus, dedication, and the hard work. 
I I'm Sam exactly the daughter you raised. What? You wanted me to let you know if the UAE called again. Three times in the past hour. Can this day get worse? They say the sale doesn't go through until they get the Louisiana contracts. How's that going? Almost there. They're gonna want their advance money back if the sale falls through. Of course, Audrey. I take calculated risks. I don't go on suicide missions. I'm sorry, it's just these guys are kind of scary. Relax, Audrey. I have everything under control. check this whole area here. There might be some claw marks, or okay. uh, maybe there might be trackings. Oh. Maria Bennett. Well, well, well. How you doing? Does Yale know you're here? No. Hey, what do you got? TV just broke the news. We got about 10 minutes before the looky loons get here. Great. Let's get this perimeter pushed back, all right? Already on it, Bob. Hey! What have you been doing out here? Surveying. In the middle of the night, with the drill. Yes. I can't help you unless you tell me the truth. Just get the chief to sign the deal. That's all I need you for. These men were very foolish. These men were unlucky. What, what did this? Coyote or bear is our current theory. It's a Katina whale. What's he talking about? A native legend. I really don't know much about it. Kachina Way is an animal spirit that defends our people in times of need. It's a boogeyman that parents use to scare their children into not littering. You know, put them in the trash or a fish in a while will come and get you. It's like that uh, commercial with the crying Indian. No, not, not really. Are you suggesting that a ghost did this? Not a ghost, Mr. Stark. A spirit.
supposed to be retired? Maria Bennett? Wow! New York City sure knocked the Cajun right out of you, huh? Uh, you're just not used to seeing me in makeup, Miss Ev. I ain't used to seeing you with shoes on. <laughs> Why don't you get back here? Just now, I'm here for a couple days only. Gail know you're here? Not unless he's psychic, no. Oh, you hear about the oil man, huh? That's right. Yeah, you here to help tell them they ain't wanted here, no matter how much green they got. No can drill here. Look, you want some of this uh, extra gator meat? No charge for you. Maybe tomorrow. It's nice talking to you, Miss F. Uh, Maria, you be careful, okay? Gators ain't bad enough. Now we got bears. I'll be careful. And stay out the woods. Hey. So, did you come back to marry Yale or something? No, I did not come back to marry... Do I even know you? No. afternoon and Bob was to weigh in on the subject. Hear me on this, our town needs that deal. And I say it's time for the tribe, all due respect, to step aside and let this deal go through. I'm no animal expert, but I would say drilling for oil is gonna keep those cows. Let me guess. Chase told you I was in town. Chase? Mrs. Fontenot? Mom? Bert? Traitor. Well, he just wants to see you happy. You look good. Choice of clothing's a little interesting, but other than that, you're pretty okay. Pretty okay. Were you always this charming when we were dating? Probably not. You ain't gonna invite me in? What's the point? I'm only here for three days. A lot can happen in three days. A lot is not gonna happen in three days. Besides, my dad's coming over for dinner tonight. Sheriff's coming by? Yeah. Uh, your dad and I are on a little bit of a low right now. How low? Uh, a warrant for my arrest low. What? It's pretty stupid, actually. It's a difference of opinions as relating to jury duty. He thinks it's a civic responsibility. And you think? I think making somebody be in a courtroom for eight hours a day is cruel and unusual. Gonna be at the water hole later. Everybody is. Everybody meeting you and Chase? Why don't you join me for a drink? Maybe. Do me a favor. Don't tell your dad where I'm gonna be later. Hey, did I just see Yale Lewis driving away? <sighs> that boy needs to learn the meaning of civic duty. How you doing today? Heavy. Do you really think a bear could have done this? Come on, honey. No shop talk, all right? We got a team of cops out there working the scene. But right now, 
It's my time off. So let me just enjoy making dinner for my little girl, huh? Someday when you have your own kids, you'll understand what this feels like. Well, it sure smells good. I'm glad you said that. I've been making some improvements to Maria Chow. I think you won't be impressed. All right, here we go. busy? Yeah, a little bit. I wasn't actually asking. It's a polite way of saying I need you in my office in 20 minutes. Uh, I just said that a with my father. Fascinating. I'm busy myself. See you in 20. Get us some drinks. <laughs> Prepare to have your mind blown. I'm sorry. I'll call you later. Problem, man. Seems to me that maybe pretty much always means no. Yeah, you're probably right. Always right. And if you like it, you should have put a ring on it. Is that? Are you quoting songs? Hell yeah, bro. There's wisdom in pop songs. Well then, hit me, baby, one more time. Mama said, "Not you, rap. Dude, let it be. I can love you all night long." You can't walk. Stop. I want to touch all your naughty places. It gets me hot. Yes! <laughs> this guy gets it, man. Thank you. Why am I friends with you? Inertia. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were definitely not bringing sexy back. No, sir. <laughs> What do you got for me? Well, you're not gonna get anywhere with Turner until you build some momentum. Go on. Why don't you buy some individual lots? Land the tribe doesn't own. You just drill there. Here's the thing. It doesn't matter if you find oil. Pay them as if you did. When the people see their neighbor getting rich, the entire town's gonna back you. And the tribe caves. Once we have a deal with the tribe, the town gets whatever we give them, and it won't be much. Exactly. Hmm. Audrey, you can go home now. If you need me to stay, no. I'm happy to. That's fine. I assume you have a list of candidates? Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> I see you put your ex-boyfriend on the list. Do you, you think I brought you out here and didn't do my research? I know every kiss you've ever had. From first to last.
waste no time. Good morning. Just for just for real, Maria. They're gonna pay me all this money for poking holes in my yard. For real. They tell me I can go anywhere I want to on vacation. They're gonna pay for it. I've always wanted to go to New Orleans. Uh, New Orleans is three hours away, Bert. Oh, I know, I know, I hear you, but when you get to be old as me, sometimes you gotta throw caution to the wind. <laughs> I I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. <laughs> I better start packing. <laughs> So I made the cut, huh? I'm sorry? Phone's been ringing off the hook all morning. Saying you people are buying up lots. That's right. Well, you could put me down as a no. But you haven't even heard our offer yet. Yeah, well, see, I tend to take Biggie's view on finances. What's that? More money, more problems. See, I don't really care about you people drilling for oil, but the one thing that I do care about is you doing it in my backyard. If you would just have a look at So I guess I don't really need to tell you where to shove that thing, do I? Listen, you little... Yeah. Just take a look at the offer. We'll change your mind. We gotta get going. Got the lab results back on that tooth. Wolf. The Turner could be right. I mean, this could be some sort of spirit. This one is the same as the others. You sure? I'm positive. More and more, I'm thinking this is the work of a single animal. Well, how could one wolf take out nine men in 24 hours? Judging from these molds, this ain't no ordinary wolf. This thing weighs 200 pounds easy. What the hell, Sheriff? When did you decide to stop policing this town? I don't like your tone, Mr. Tarkin. Yeah, you and my ex-wife. Do you realize how much money I've lost in the last two days? This is a major problem for me. Well, don't you think it might be more of a problem for him? You need to handle this, Sheriff. I'm law enforcement. I'm not animal control. Oh, come on. What kind of wolf does this? You better start asking yourself why Turner wants us to think it's a wolf. You know something? I'm gonna do you a big favor right now and just pretend that I didn't hear an accusation in there, all right? You tell Chief Turner that when you hit somebody, you better be ready for them to hit back. Now, what are you gonna do? Taking care of this my way. There is no your way, Stark. It's me. You know the guy we used on that Africa thing? I need him. So it's true. You are sleeping with the enemy. You came all the way down here just to tell me that? Oh, actually, I drove all the way down here to give you a meatball sub. Wendell's? Who else? 
You don't understand. Everything's open in New York all the time. I mean, there's two 24-hour museums. Oh, the perfect thing for those 4 a.m. Picasso cravings. You're just making fun of me. A little bit. I'm just glad you found some place that makes you happy. What's that supposed to mean? Yeah, I sometimes wonder if you left town because of that thing I did. What thing? I asked you to marry me. Oh, that thing. Yeah, you didn't have to move halfway across the country. You could have just said no. I didn't leave because I was running away from you. I left to move closer to my career. Yeah, see, it's kind of funny how those two things really don't seem all that different to me. Could have followed. What? I missed out on backyard wrestling Wednesday nights. Get real. Could your neck be any redder? Yeah, well, you know what they say about us rednecks. No, what do they say? I don't really know. I was hoping you had an answer. Still quite the funny guy, huh? I try. I'm glad you're back, even if it is for a minute. About it? What? The accident. It's what you're thinking about, isn't it? What's there to say? Still don't remember anything. Nothing? I remember it was my 16th birthday. I remember breakfast. I remember driving to New Orleans with my mom, and then. It's just blank. Three days later, I wake up in the hospital. I never asked to see your body. And sometimes I feel like I'm on the verge of remembering everything. And then it's just all gone. It's like a sick game inside my head. You'll remember when you're supposed to. Yeah. See you again, Mr. Coughlin. It's just Coughlin, man. Okay. I hope I didn't pull you away from anything important. Are you kidding? I live for this stuff. What's the sit rep? I need you to kill a wolf for me. Is that a code name or something? What? Who's the wolf? No, I need you to kill an actual wolf. An animal. It's terrorizing the town. It's killed nine people. You sure it's a wolf? Honestly, I don't know. Whatever it is, I need it dead. So you call me? As I recall, turning live things into dead ones is sort of your specialty. Yeah, that and my primavera sauce. Seriously? No, not seriously. Honestly, I think I prefer being the only hard ass in my life. Hey, Sheriff? Mm -hmm. I got pictures of that accident. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, heard about that. Any survivors here? No survivors. Hey, uh, Bobby, go make me a photocopy of that paw print there, would you? What's the cause of the accident here? I don't know. It looks like they uh, swerved to avoid hitting something in the road. Well, that's interesting. Sheriff, that's 12 people missing or dead, all Halter X employees. Now, what kind of wolf profiles its victims? 
Look, I hate to say this, but I, I think Stark might be right about Turner. People really saying that I'm sleeping with the enemy. No. Oh. Well, a few people are saying it. Okay, most people are saying it. God, I wish I could lie to you. Do you think Holter X is the enemy? If you say they're okay, I say they're okay. Hey. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. What? <laughs> I know that, hey, it's the I'm about to make a move, hey. Well, would that be so awful? Good night, yo. Good night. I'm gonna go catch that train. <laughs> Chief, well, remind me to fire my security guards. The men you called in, they're hunters? I don't know what men you're talking about. I saw the helicopter. If you send them into the woods, they will die. I seriously doubt that. You invoked the Kachina Wea when you broke our agreement. You and your people must now pay the debt. What agreement? That you would not drill during negotiations. I told you that was a surveying team. The more people you bring, the more that will die. Those men are not hunters. They're killers. And they are very good at what they do. And they'll still die, and so will everybody else in your tribe. What tribe? What do you call this? Alter X? That's ridiculous. Remind me, what does a C stand for in CEO? When there is no one else left, then it will come after you. You heard all that? He's never gonna sell. Everyone has a price. Everyone except lunatics. Yes. I need you to take somebody out for me. Yeah. I don't have a problem with that. How do you want it? Up close and personal? Or hand of God style? Consider it done. He's trying to get into my house. Call your dad. Yes, I, I'm not sure what it is, but I...
you're dead. down on that perimeter, you understand me? Joey? Thanks, Higgis. So much for Stark's theory that Turner is the killer. Still no body. You ain't gonna find one. Think about it. That thing was literally just hit by a Mack truck. Nothing walks away from that. This thing did. Look, I know you're shaking up about this whole thing, but uh, the most important thing is... Like I said... Eight feet of this tunnel. Hey, honey, how's that arm doing? Oh, it's okay. Look, Maria, that thing's out in a ditch somewhere, dead or dying, I guarantee it. Look, if everything's all right here, I'm just gonna go on back to the station and book that driver, all right? Book him? Yeah, turns out he's driving drunk. <sighs> Yale. Sir. And uh, don't think I'm forgetting about that jury duty either. Uh, to be continued. All right. So, um, are these my clothes? Uh, yeah. Good thing I kept them, huh? Yeah. Oh, Maria. Hey, Ms. F. I heard about what happened. Wanted to help, just uh, didn't know how. Got data. Oh, thank you, Jambalaya. Thank you very much. This is nothing, baby. Look, Crowley takes care of its own. You need anything, anything at all, you just holler, okay? Thank you. That was very nice of him, huh? What's wrong? I just realized that if I was in New York, I can't think of a single person that would come and take care of me. Yeah. Did you ever take a drive? Yeah, it's fun. No, Miss Myrtle, I don't think the wolf is your ex-husband. No. Listen, I have to go, okay? I I've been on the phone with you now for 30 minutes. I I've got to go, honey. Okay, take care. One drink. One. Hey, you dropped your flashlight. Yeah. <laughs> you know, actually, I'm a, I'm a hero. You ought to be pinning the medal on me. <laughs> I killed that wolf. <laughs> yeah, yeah, why don't you just sit down and shut up, all right? Oh, yes, yeah, sir. Sure. <sighs> Looks like it's gonna be one of those nights. Already is. Are you good here? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'll see you in the morning, all right? Not hero. Not hero. Come on, Sheriff. Won't you simmer down? Yes, sir, Sheriff. What do you need, Bennett? Did you hear what happened? If you're here to ask for some time off, forget it. It's not gonna happen. If you're shook up for something, I don't know, just get over it. 
No, I am not here to ask for some time off. When I left this town three years ago, I swore I would never come back. Why are you telling me this? I don't know if I've changed or this town has, but instead of hating being back, I'm wondering why I ever left. Am I supposed to reply here, or can you just go back to work? I am not gonna help you tear this town apart. What are you telling me, Bennett? Oh, here's the short version. I quit. I will see to it. You will not get a job making coffee. You hear me? much better. What now? Well, someone needs to defend this town against Stark. Make sure everybody gets a fair deal. You? Crawley takes care of its own, right? Damn straight. Hey. Hey? There's more than one wolf in these woods, huh? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know right here is the same wolf, do you? The same wolf. Shh, so come get me, do you? Shh, shh, shh. Oh, Lord. I swear I ain't never gonna thank you. Will you shut up? Stay right in there, partner. You're safe. That's the best place for you.
Gentlemen, listen up. You work in teams, all right? You use good hunting sense, no accidents. Now, you're looking for a wolf, understand? That means no deer, no rabbit. I hear if anybody taking a shot at anything without fangs, there's going to be hell to pay. Am I clear? Yes, yes. Sir. All right, good. Happy hunt. Looks like we're not the only ones in the job. Freaking amateurs. God bless them. You hear? The wolf came back last night. Killed the driver. It was a revenge killer. Animals don't seek revenge, Chase. No? Not the way I heard it. Wolf got into the jail cell, tore him apart. All the cops can do is watch. Well, if he's in the cell, then why didn't they catch him? And look, dude, I don't know. Do I look like a physicist or something to you? All I know is what I heard. It's what I heard. Are you high? Well, yeah, so what? <laughs> Stay right there, Wiley. Hold it down. Good boy. Yeah, you got any pizza or popcorn or just anything, man? I'm suddenly stuck. All right. Thank you. He's right. He's right. The driver was killed. Just because I'm high, I don't mean a lie. Is my dad OK? He's fine. He was there. He was OK. Why are you guys back on again? They said that the wolf is only interested in the driver, nobody else. You know, when you say it like that, it almost sounds like a revenge killer. Chase? We're obviously not dealing with a normal animal. My people believe in spirits that can transform into animals. New Yorkers? Native Americans, jackass. Oh, those people. You can't be serious. How else do you explain what's going on? Well, I'm sorry, can I just... Aren't you Mexican? No! What are we supposed to do with that? I mean, even if it's true, and I'm not saying that it is, but even if it's true, what are we supposed to do with it? I don't know. But I do know someone who might. Are you sure you're not Mexican? Hey. The catch of the day is wolf. Although if you happen to tap one of those rednecks while you're at it, you won't hear me complain. The reports are this thing is huge. 200 pounds, more beer than wolf. He's out of his element. Most likely he's angry, scared, and confused. Not unlike this schmuck in the Philippines. How was I supposed to know she was a man? The guy that tags this thing first gets extra 50K. The guy that tags the second gets a set of steak knives. And if any of you manage not to put a single round in this thing, then you get sent to the Philippines. Let's do this. Lock, cock, and ready to rock. Raul! This guy is like your chief or something? Uh, the tribe's chief, yeah. Oh. But he lives in a regular house. Are you expecting a TV or something? <laughs> yeah, right. Hello, welcome. Hi. You knew we were coming. I did. Did you see it in the dream? Saw you through the window. Come on.
I remember the first time I met you. It was the day you moved to Crowley. You were, uh, six? Um, seven. You remember that day? Um, I, I remember a ceremony. An initiation ceremony. The day you moved to Crowley was the day you joined Choctaw Nation. You hear about the wolf. How'd you know? That I did see in a dream. Let it get a few kills first. Gotta slow it down. ago there was a tribe that lived in this area a tribe of mighty warriors the Takapa. all tribes that stood before them fell all but one the white man was too many too strong and without mercy the greatest warrior a brave named skunamo could not bear to live in defeat for many nights called upon the ancient powers. With ancient and terrible magic, Skunamok sacrificed his flesh to the animal inside. As Kachina Wea, Skunamok brought vengeance to his enemies. They tried in vain to hunt him. But Kachina Wea does not read the air or drink from the streams. How do you stop the rain? How do you kill the wind? After he took his revenge, did he become a man again? No, once a change is done, it cannot be undone. Turner just filed an injunction based on the attacks. No, I just came from the courthouse. 
It's the real deal. If he pushes this thing through, we're done. I'll handle it. It's me. You know the other thing we talked about? That timeline just moved up. Change your plans. What about the wall? Guess to live for one more glorious day. Let's go. So, this wolf is our wolf? Yeah, you saw its eyes. They were definitely not those of an animal. So, this Scunamora? Scunamoke, man. Scunamoke? It's just been running around the woods for 300 years? Tina Weir is a killing spirit. It's an appetite for blood that knows no limit. As time passed, the need for vengeance waned, and it soon became clear that the creature must be stopped. But how? Only another attack of our warrior can kill the beast. To kill a wolf requires a magic as strong and as dark as that which created it, an arrowhead from a bone of an enemy, an exchange of a life for a life. The warrior died to stop the wolf. Magic this powerful rarely comes without great cost. Skunamok sacrificed himself for the good of his tribe and for this warrior it was no different. They carried the wolf to his afterlife, and an eternal flame burns in the memory of his spirit. Legend says that if our tribe should ever need his power again, the flame will extinguish as a warning that the Kachina Wea returns. What enemies? There are no more tribal wars. Well, Drex, this is a war against Hal Drex. I mean, think about it. That's why all the victims work for Stark. That's why the wolf spared you, Yell. Well, half the state works for Hal Drex. What about Burn? He sold his land the morning that he died. I watched him sign the contract. When did you scope this place out? Last night. When do you sleep? When I'm dead. Crowd, yo. Five meters, two clicks to the left. Gotcha. Well, we're gonna have fun with these attack buttons and have them kill it for us. The tribe of the attack of us extinct. They are none left. That's not entirely true. There is one. The last of the attack off Chief! Take him out! <laughs> Somebody did this. I want to know who, and I want to know why. Higgins, what happened to those hunters? And please don't give me any bad news. I got nothing. No one called it in, Sheriff. All right, somebody give me one of those hunters. I want a status update. Look, Maria, you're going to have to stay here for the night, you three, all right, until we figure out just what the hell is going on. Can we help? 
I'll let you know, all right? Look, get me a grid map of Cadia Parish. Not that one. No, no, no. Go get the red one. The red one. Sheriff Benny. What the hell is your problem? No problem. It's done. Yes, I know it's done. You want to know how I know it's done? Because you made such a mess, it's on the damn news. You never said make it pretty. You said hand of God style. Since when does God use grenades? I'm hanging on here. Don't you even... Suit up. We're going hunting. You gotta be kidding me. Feeling lucky. Well, I was feeling lucky. Maybe we should just get the hell out of this town. Tonight. Let's go. Let's just go to New York. What are you talking about? I sold my house to Stark. This morning, that's where I was when you woke up. I'm not gonna lose you again. You're one of them now. Yeah, well, I wish I would have known that before this morning. We just need to find the last attack of Bell. Yeah, how are we gonna do that? Computers. We have access to all sort of information here. Birth certificates, DMV files, census data. Yeah, well, when we find the guy, how are we gonna explain to him that he has to die in order to kill the wolf? Just tell him that it's better to burn out than fade away. Yeah, that's what I'll do, Chase. We're leaving him here. Lucky? Just keep an eye on the perimeter. Contact. Where? Damn it, where? I don't know. I don't know. I lost him. It was three o'clock. Bravo Alpha, you have incoming. I repeat, you have incoming. Alpha Bravo, say again. Search cover a wider area. I got a body. <coughs> Light it up. Roger.
Sheriff, I think I got something. Some kind of webcam. Says it's for bird watching. Doesn't matter, he notices today. Higgins, run this plate. I'm on it. GPS lock, it's on the move. Headed west on Highway 3 towards Halter X Airport. All right, you heard it. That's it. I want everyone in on this. Let's go. You three stay put, all right? Stark. You're gonna get Stark. I gotta hear it from him. He's the boss. Actually, this Death Eagle is the boss. And it says we go. You got it, boss. I'm a 
adopted, Yale. What are you talking about? That's what my mom told me on my 16th birthday. My real mother died in childbirth and my father remarried. My real mother's Native American. She's not Choctaw. I'm the last attack about. They would have killed me! It was life or death! Did you kill him? Please! Shoot it! Kill it and I'll give you whatever you want! I'll, I'll make sure you're made partner! I'll even fund your own firm! Walter X will be your exclusive client! Please! Shoot it! Shoot it, you witch!
Grandma told you not to drink like that. You know better. Your hair's starting to look really good, man. Yeah. You've been growing it out for a while now. Huh? Hello, boys. Hey. Hey. Higgins, how are you? Yeah. Yeah. Listen, I don't know how to say this, but you just to say it. You're under arrest. What? Stay right there. That's tight. Well, too much longer, okay? Ah, okay, yeah. Higgins, yeah. go ahead and put them in a squad car. Sorry about this, Yale. Turns out jury duty is a civic responsibility. No, I told you, it's cruel and unusual uh, punishment. Dad, what are you doing? We are getting married tomorrow. Well, that's why I have to do this today. I can't arrest my own son-in-law now, can I? This is not funny. You know how much this H means? Honey, honey, relax, relax. He's not going to jail. He's going to his bachelor party. <sighs> hey, if he resists, you put a taser <sighs> on him. <sighs> okay, but no strippers. Oh, come on, it's not a bachelor party without a lap dance. Dad. Okay, no strippers. You're the boss. I've been holding on to this for way too long. It's not mine. Your, uh, your mom would have wanted you to have it. We won't keep him out too long. I love you, Dad. <laughs> 